Mimicry, in which an organism resembles an unrelated species, is one of the great marvels of evolution. Leaf mimicry is an especially clever form of camouflage. For some animals, looking like a leaf serves as protection from hungry predators. For others, it is a useful way to wait in plain sight for unwitting prey. The adaptation is most common among insects, but can also be found in reptiles, amphibians, and even fish. Here are 10 amazing examples of leaf lookalikes from around the world. One, Phosma gigas. Phosma gigas is a huge stick insect of the Phasmatidae family. Phosma gigas is found in Indonesia, while its similar species is found in Papua New Guinea. Because of the different geographical distribution, the patterns of their inner wings vary more or less, and so do the spikes on their breastplates. A male of Phosma gigas is 130 to 170 mm long, and a female is 190 to 250 mm long. Its 20 cm wide black and yellow wings look like a huge open umbrella, with its body more than 20 cm in length and more than 1 cm in diameter, producing a very shocking visual effect. 2. Pseudocreobatra walbergi Pseudocreobatra walbergi, or the spiny flower mantis, is a small flower mantis, native to southern and eastern Africa. It is nearly indistinguishable from a leaf. Properly known as Philocrania paradoxa, they are green in some areas and brown in others to best suit the conditions where they live. The voracious eaters will devour almost any bug, although they prefer to make a meal out of moths and other flying insects. The female can be very aggressive, so make sure it has eaten enough when male is introduced to her enclosure. The females of this species are larger, heavier, and broader than males. When threatened, the insects raise their forewings, which makes them look like a much larger creature with big, golden eyes. 3. Metoroidea extradentata Metoroidea extradentata, commonly known as the Vietnamese or a Nam walking stick, is a species of the family Phasmatidae. They originate in Vietnam and are found in tropical forests there. They eat a variety of foliage, though in captivity they commonly eat blackberry bramble, hawthorn, oak, red maple, and rose. An adult female anam stick insect has a long and thin body without any appendages. The body is brown and looks like it has a rough structure, similar to wood. On her head she has two horns, a camouflage that mimics thorns on branches. An adult male anam stick insect is even thinner than the female and has a smooth-looking body and legs. The stick insects are very docile and non-aggressive. This species is night active, like most stick insects. During the day they don't move around a lot. When you pick one up it will walk slowly. This stick insect can be fed with fresh leaves of bramble, oak, hazelnut, rose and raspberry. 4. Duroplides lobata Duroplides lobata, common name Southeast Asian dead leaf mantis, or dead leaf mantis, is a species of praying mantis that inhabits Thailand, Java, Borneo, Indonesia, Sumatra, and the Malay Peninsula. There are many mantis species that mimic dead and dried leaves. That's because they are much larger than the males and have longer leaf-like flabs on their body. The males of this species also look like a leaf, but much less so, as they need to be more aerodynamic as they fly. 5. Indian Oakleaf Butterfly Kalima inachus, the orange oakleaf, Indian oakleaf or dead leaf, is a nymphalid butterfly found in tropical Asia from India to Japan. With wings closed, it closely resembles a dry leaf with dark veins and is a commonly cited example of camouflage. When its wings are closed, the species looks exactly like a dried autumn leaf, giving it the cleverest camouflage a butterfly could want. But when its wings are open, it reveals a luminous color pattern that can hold its own against the world's prettiest wings. During the dry season, tropical butterflies tend to be less active. But in the wet season, when these butterflies are more active, they display eyespot patterns that are meant to deflect birds, ants, spiders, and wasps from trying to eat them. 6. Malayan Leaf Frog 
The long-nosed horned frog, also known as the Malayan horned frog or Malayan leaf frog is a species of frog restricted to the rainforest areas of southern Thailand and peninsular Malaysia to Singapore, Sumatra, and Borneo. The Malayan horned frog is an incredible marvel of evolution. With unique physical features and habits that make it virtually impossible to visually detect amongst leaf litter, this inhabitant of southeastern Asia's tropical rainforests is one of nature's most cryptic amphibians. Although this master of camouflage lives a stealthy existence in its native habitat, this interesting species is routinely available to the hobbyist, yet only occasionally captive bred. 7. Philium giganteum. Pulchrophilium giganteum, commonly known as the giant Malaysian leaf insect, is a species of leaf insects described from Malaysia by Hosliner in 1984 and placed in the genus Pulchrophilium since 2021. Pulchrophilium giganteum is the largest species belonging to the genus Pulchrophilium reaching 105 mm in size. Philium giganteum is a very wide and large leaf insect with a body shaped like a leaf. Also the legs have appendages making it look like leaves. The skin is green in color with brown spots around the edges. They are a very docile species, like many stick insects and leaf insects. Females are fully grown at 7 months and reach sexual maturity at 8 months old. Females are parthenogenetic, meaning they can lay viable eggs without needing to mate. The female will lay approximately 40 eggs at a rate of 1 to 2 per day. 8. Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko is a small species of gecko that can be found only on the island of Madagascar. The gecko occurs in a variety of colors including hues of purple, orange, tan and yellow, but is often mottled brown, with small black dots on the underside that help to distinguish it from similar species. It has long spines on the head, body, and trunk. The tail is flattened and has a leaf-like appearance. Satanic leaf-tailed geckos are solitary arboreal creatures. They rely on their natural camouflage which helps them to stay unnoticed both when they rest during the day and when they move about their rainforest habitat at night feeding on insects. 9. Leaf Kate-Eated Kate-Eated, also called Longhorned Grasshopper or Bush Cricket, also spelled Bush Cricket, any of about 6,000 predominantly nocturnal insects that are related to crickets and are noted for their mating calls. Katydids are usually green and camouflaged to blend in with foliage, more commonly heard than seen. They have a body taller than it is wide and thin and hind legs that are longer than the other pairs of legs. The antennae are covered with sensory receptors that help them find their way around in the dark, since they are primarily nocturnal. Depending on the species, they can be from 1 half to 4 inches long. 10. Dead Leaf Moth Kalima inachus, the orange oak leaf, Indian oak leaf or dead leaf, is a nymphalid butterfly found in tropical Asia from India to Japan. With wings closed, it closely resembles a dry leaf with dark veins and is a commonly cited example of camouflage. The craziest thing about this fascinating creature's mimicry is that it's mostly an optical illusion. Its wings may look curled up, but they are actually as straight as those of any moth. The curled-up effect is created by minute scales on its wings which even replicate the shading of a curled-up dead leaf. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. This living optical illusion spends most of its time on the damp floor of forests in China and Taiwan.